Well, Europe, as you know, went through the financial crisis and then the debt crisis. It's been affected more than any other uh, region in the world. And, and the main um, uh, people, the main component of the labor force, if you like, that uh, got the biggest uh, negative shock were young workers. We had some countries, Spain and Greece in particular, that had uh, more than 50% unemployment of young people. That means that uh, people coming out of school, um, they would expect to remain unemployed for a year, two years, just without any job. And um, that had devastating consequences on uh, the way young people were uh, approaching their first experience in the labor market, their first uh, career. The problem with young people moving elsewhere to get a job is that the country loses the workers that it doesn't want to lose because it's mainly those who, with university degrees, mainly those who went to uh, some other country to uh, get further study that stay on to that other country. You know, for example, you might have uh, young people from uh, Greece or Spain going to British universities to get a postgraduate degree, and then they will stay there rather than come back to their own country uh, to work. You know, just think about it. Do you really want your country to go through a recession and then your young people moving away and uh, starting a new life somewhere else and then settling down and then either unsettling them to bring them back or saying, oh, well, they're settled down. You know, many of them will have families in, the, in, the, in their new country and they will stay in their new country. And, and it's not really something that you, you would want to see in a, in, in a Europe of uh, equal nations. Well, well, you need to create the jobs to, uh, to um, uh, bring down the youth unemployment. And unless you create the jobs, of course, you never solve the problem. Um, and the jobs will have to be created by the private sector. It's the open market that's going to create jobs. It's not the public sector that will do it. So the um, only long-term solution to the youth unemployment problem is, is the recovery of the economy as a whole. Now, if it takes long for the economy to recover, if despite the recovery there are young people who remain unemployed for longer uh, periods of time, then the government could help in that job creation by offering incentives to employers to do it. Incentives do not have to be in the form of direct payments to employers. They could be in the form of like, the, the way the company is treated for tax purposes, especially the social security contributions, I think on, on low pay uh, jobs for young people. Uh, there should be no social security contribution at all. There should be zero. Tax should be zero. That's a big incentive for employers to create uh, the, the jobs. Uh, minimum wages could help the labor market because they give a, big, a better incentive for young people to get the jobs. But they shouldn't be so high as to discourage the job creation by the employer. Something up to 50% of the median um, might be acceptable, it doesn't have many disincentives, but beyond that level it will have the, uh, disincentives. Um, and then if all those don't work, then uh, some kind of job subsidy from the government for a short time to a company that starts a job, especially one that involves training on the job for the young person, uh, has been found to be very helpful as well for both the job creation for the young person in his or her career beyond time that uh, they spent in the company.